Good morning, everyone. Here are some concluding passages from Sindharameshwar Maharaj, which I found to be very potent. Before I was seeing many gods, many religions, many castes, but with this vision, I came to know that everything is one single being. Such vision of understanding is called the vision of the intellect or the third eye or the vision of fire. But it is not normal fire. The eye that sees with knowledge, the inner eye, is the vision that is the direct perception of the self. You are Allah and whatever is seen or felt is only yourself. You are all. Sadhguru has given us the third eye that is the inner sight of the direct perception of truth. This is the third eye of the fire of knowledge of Lord Shiva. This is not a physical eye, it is the eye of knowledge. We have our two physical eyes and the Guru has given us this new eye which is the sun of knowledge. The Lord of the whole world, the formless existence, the Purusha pervading all is this eye. When you see with this eye, the whole world disappears. It is destroyed. We see only Brahman. This visible world is the bondage of illusion. And this new eye given by the Sadhguru destroys this illusion. Finally, we come to this passage. Please believe that there is nothing in our power. God does all and gets all done. It is God who is behind us and in front of us. Do not cut your separate existence out of the wholeness of life. Drop that nonsense. Whatever is happening is exactly perfect. When you project an imaginary person, it all seems to be unstable. Actually, there is neither high nor low. Both the sides are equal. Everything is fixed perfectly and undisturbed. If the ego is dropped, all existence is perfectly still. Nothing is unstable. As the bottom, as well as over and above, the experience that one has is that there is something that is utterly stable and very solid. It is a state that is the consciousness of Brahman. There is a small trifle of a ripple in that consciousness that appears to be unstable. But that small trifle, unstable thing, appears to the jiva, the individual, to be having such upheavals that the jiva is completely terrified. This is the strange phenomenon of this worldly appearance. Well, that pretty much sums up the quotations and passages of Siddharameshwar Maharaj that have impacted me. I do have a couple of other books to explore, but I still have to find them. But 
having said that what strikes me is that i'm quite convinced the guru disciple relationship is a preordained one because nothing happens by chance you see now if i look at my association with ramesh ji some of you may be knowing this i was about 30 years old i had no interest in these subjects and my sister's friends came down from hong kong to visit ramesh ji satsangs so we had to drop them there so i obliged by driving and dropping them off but i didn't go up because it was of no interest uh, to me you see and that too it was a sunday so sundays were precious one used to have late saturday nights when one was young and when they returned to our home they said that you know they enjoyed themselves and we must go there since we stay in the same city and that is how my sister nikki coaxed me into going the next weekend much against my wishes i was really completely not interested and she took me there and i must admit that i was quite bored i remember my feeling was one of being bored at this satsang i had never sat in a satsang before but i did remember that you know the sage here ramesh ji was saying everything is god's will and it was so obvious to me that everything is god's will that's all i remember and i didn't understand why people had come from all over the world to listen to this you see so it was not like an immediate kind of uh, fructification of a guru disciple relationship it took time i went back the next sunday simply because i thought maybe i missed something and let me go back but you see this is all the mind talking the logical thinking mind obviously something had pulled me to go back there again the next sunday which i was not aware of consciously and then when i bowed down to touch ramesh ji's feet simply because everyone else was doing it i was just towing the line i thought that was the appropriate thing to do and he tapped me on the head and he said young man isn't this your second visit and i said yes and he said be careful this will become your sunday church and that's what happened you see it took me time to realize what is the meaning of a guru what is the role of the guru i was not interested in a guru as such but when i understood that a guru is the remover of ignorance the dispeller of darkness and i saw how his teachings had lit up the path that was my life and it validated my life's experience i said okay this is what it is there's been a direct impact on my life but while all this process was happening the fact is that the surrender to the guru must have happened because i clearly remember that just a couple of months after meeting him i would call him and ask him what i could do for him and then 6 months later on my birthday in november he came to my house as a surprise gift my 30th birthday so you see that's why i'm convinced that the rational mind cannot make sense of the guru disciple relationship i even remember i was having breakfast on the table and i saw on my mother's bookshelf ramesh looking at me from the cover of a book and i said i told my mother this is the same man i've been going to i'm so surprised you have his book she said yes i know i've read his books before and likewise i have already explained to you all the connection with siddharameshwar maharaj so even that is there you see so the parampara the lineage i feel it's just a kind of automatic process that one is drawn to it like a moth to a flame and from the little bit i have read you see of the navnath sampradaya the nine nats and this lineage i think 
comes down from one of the Nats called Revanath, if I am not mistaken. So, there is some ancient connection which goes way, way back and uh, there is no point over analyzing it. Personally, I found that I had a connection with Goraknath, who was the founder of the Nath Sampradaya. And I didn't have any visions of Goraknath or any such thing happening to me, but I did find that I was being taken to caves of Goraknath across the length and breadth of India. It was very easy. A friend would say, come here. Another taxi driver would say, when I was in Rishikesh, I'll take you to the Jilmili Gufa, Goraknath's cave. In Nasik, I was taken to the Gorak Gufa without even knowing it was there. You see, I pointed out to a cave and the man with us, the local said, oh, forget about that. The main cave is another one. And I insisted on that one. I don't know why. And then he said, that's the Gorak Gufa. So, this is how, you know, through kind of, uh, I would say, subtle signs, these contacts get established. And uh, there is no point trying to really go into the hows and whys this happened. But I think it's grace that these things happen. One has to be open and aware. As my mother says, sometimes even that opportunity can be missed. The opportunity can be missed. And Ramesh ji would say that if it is meant to be missed, it will be missed. But being open, being aware, not being consumed by too much thinking, all these certainly help the process. And again, to sum it up, I am not sure when people ask me, is a guru necessary or not? In my case, I think it was necessary, although earlier I had no interest in this word Guru. I know in my teacher Ramesh Ji's case, he also concluded that a Guru is necessary and his teacher Nisardatta Maharaj also concluded that it is necessary. And so do the masters like Sai Baba, like Ramna Maharshi say that it, the transmission is needed, you see. So, these are basically thoughts on this subject. But you see, whether the label is a guru, you call someone a guru, a guide, a spiritual mentor, a spiritual teacher, ultimately these are just labels. It's basically someone who you have taken, whose, hold, whose hand you are holding through life's journey, which may not make it easier but will make it simpler. Thank you everyone.